constituency office, Jerome Kennedy, MHA, Electoral District of Carbonier Harbor Grace. And one of his many, well, I'm not actually a constituent, but I live in the province. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer McCreeth. Today is March 31st, 2013, Trans International Transgender Day of Visibility. And... It, it's ironic to find myself standing here in beautiful Carbonier, Newfoundland, out front of Jerome Kennedy's office on the very same day that he has laid me off, along with several other people, um, in his latest Newfoundland budget. Um, sadly, um, he has cut a lot, of, a lot of women, a lot of young professionals, and to my understanding, the entire out trans population of the Newfoundland public sector has all been cut we're all laid off today. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of fitting to actually come out here and raise awareness and visibility. Um, you might not think there's a lot of trans people outside of the big city of St. John's, but I can guarantee you right now there are other trans people beyond and besides me right now standing in this town of Carbonier. In fact, I see one right over there. Um, Mr. Kennedy, we've had a, an interesting history. Um, as I'm sure you will recall, about four years ago, you were standing up in front of a podium, uh, rolling out some money. What's going on with my camera? Is it still going? Yeah, yeah, we're, st we're, we're still there, folks. We believe me here. Um, he was rolling out some money for health care, talking about how great he was. And uh, his, his buddy Felix Collins at the time was Minister of Justice sitting in the front row. Um, so I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to, to question why Mr. Collins did not want trans people to have human rights in this province, having just reviewed his human rights code. And I also wanted to have a chat with Jerome about uh, how trans people are not really mentally ill and we don't belong in, in the policies and procedures that he's got. If I want health care, he wants to ship me off to some place in Toronto. Um, no, I've got doctors right here that have, have done a great job helping me. And unfortunately, your buddy Blair Fleming over there at MCP, um, he's part of the problem too, because uh, your policies are like the railroad station I was just at there. It, it's, it's, it's falling apart, it's old, it's out of date, it's obsolete. It's just not working, and it's time to, time to get with the times. Um, this is Newfoundland, people. It's a beautiful place. It's spring, there's snow everywhere, it's fresh air. There's diversity here. Not just trans people, there's people coming here from all over the world to live here, to work here, to go to school here. Um, it's time we learn to be a little bit more accepting of that diversity. If you're going to welcome it here, you've got to embrace it, folks. Come on, Jerome Kennedy. I'm right here at your doorstep, literally. I don't want to be fighting you. I want us to get along. Um, I'm really upset that you blocked me on Twitter. I don't think that was warranted. I think I add a lot of value to Twitter. I think there's a lot of people that love what I have to say about politics. I'm an analyst by nature. I've got a business administration. I've got a university degree. I'm not as stupid as I look. Honestly. Ask anyone that knows me. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm really disappointed that uh, I put my heart and soul into this province, not just as a public servant, but as a, as a citizen. I founded a non-profit company with some great people, St. John's. Uh, we, we took uh, pride from, from the Dark Ages into mainstream. Went over to your buddy Terry French's Arts and Culture Center there and had a little, little uh, incident, uh, a lovely, lovely show there. And uh, yeah, lots of fun. Um, so yeah, let's just zoom in one more time. Just so we, we know for sure we're here. Jerome Kennedy, MHA, Mr. Speaker, I declare my budget is good for this province even though I'm screwing so many people and wrecking their lives. <clears throat> anyway, happy Easter, happy Transgender Day of Visibility, and thanks everyone for watching. Jerome Kennedy, happy Easter to you, you miserable prick.